Hi, Peter here from Wonderstruck. Watch this video if you want to learn how to do this. Okay, so how do you do that? Now, before we talk about the details, let's talk about safety. You're working with a flame, it's in contact with your skin, there's a potential for getting burned and worse. Uh, so when I say and worse, what generally happens is you're only going to be able to hold on to this ball for maybe four, five, six seconds, something like that, because although it burns relatively coolly, it's still plenty hot enough to give you a nasty burn. So you're going to need to get rid of it. Now, the easiest thing to do is just blow it out. Now, if it's starting to hurt you, you may not think of that and you just want to get it off of you, so you throw it away. If you throw it away and it goes down behind a curtain or into a pile of paperwork or something like that, you're going to end up burning down your house or wherever you happen to be so you need somewhere safe to put it now when I do this on stage I generally have uh, something like a saucepan close to hand so when it starts to hurt I can just dump it in the saucepan um, now the saucepan I've got here nice vertical side so when you throw it in the ball is hopefully going to stay in there if you use a bowl what can sometimes happen is the ball rolls down one side and out the other side like it's on a ramp and disappears where you can't find it so you've got to be careful you've got to control your environment I never have my hands too far from this in case I need to get rid of it quickly so that's some safety be careful if you do this now let's look at how you actually do it okay so what do we need in order to be able to do this now firstly we need a nice cup of tea lovely and then we need this stuff. This is isopropyl alcohol, otherwise known as isopropanol. Uh, now, this is 99% pure. It's a type of alcohol, but obviously you cannot drink it. It's toxic, um, although not as, not, as, not as toxic as methanol. So uh, we're gonna use this. The reason we use this is it burns at a relatively low temperature. If we soak our uh, ball in this and measure the flame temperature, it's about 120 degrees. You can dilute it and that reduces the flame temperature further. So if it's half and half, you get down to about 60 or 70 degrees. Disadvantage with that is the flame isn't very good and it tends to go out very easily. Um, so isopropanol, isopropyl alcohol. We're also going to need a little bit of salt. We're going to add that to the mixture just to give the flame a bit more of an orange colour because of the sodium ions in the salt. A uh, container for mixing in, got a spoon here for mixing, you should use a spatula really. Uh, we've got a couple of pipettes here, that's just for dripping the stuff onto our ball. Um, you can use a teaspoon for doing that if you don't have a pipette. Uh, I've got some barrier cream, now I would suggest if you're going to do this regularly, uh, to put a bit of barrier cream on first, it just protects your hand from the alcohol, which is a solvent, will dry the oils out of your skin and give you dry skin or dermatitis. Uh, we've got some water, a lighter, and then for making the ball, we have cotton. Now, this is a piece of an old shirt. Check that it's cotton, it must be cotton. Cotton's a natural material, when it gets hot and burns, it chars, it goes black and crumbly. If you do this with nylon or a synthetic material, it will melt, stick to your hand, carry on burning, and you're off to hospital with a serious burn. And then we've got some cotton string for holding it all together. Oh, and some scissors. There we go. So now, let's make the ball. Okay, so how do we make the ball? Firstly, you need a piece of cotton, remember, must be cotton. This is about six inches by six inches, 15 centimeters, 20 centimeters by 15, 20 centimeters or so. Uh, first thing you do, scrunch it up like that. It doesn't have to be neat. Get your string, remember, cotton string and that other natural material. Form a loop in the end like that with a relatively long tail. Lay that against your cotton ball and then just wrap around like that. Keep the tail of that loop free and when you wrap around make sure you do it tight because you don't want all this coming undone. So like this, just pull in all those untidy bits. I'm not going to finish the whole thing but when you're done just poke the end of your string through the loop like that and then pull the tail of the loop and that will tighten down onto there like that and you end up with the ends of the string hidden and a nice neat ball like that okay so we've got our ball let's make our mixture so first thing we want to do is put a bit of isopropyl alcohol 
into our mixing container. Don't want to put too much in, don't want to waste it. Uh, then a little bit of water. Don't want to go any more than 50% because then you won't be able to light it. And if you want to just make the flame a little bit more orange, you can put a little bit of salt in as well. I'm not sure it makes too much difference. Give it a little stir. Now, interesting to note, the salt is actually dissolving in the water, not the alcohol, because it won't dissolve in isopropyl alcohol. So there we go. The stir. It takes a long time to fully dissolve even then. Right, so now we're ready. We just need to drip it onto the ball. Uh, for that, I've got a retort stand. Ball goes in there like that. If you don't have a retort stand, bend a coat hanger, stick it in some modeling clay, saucepan underneath to catch any drips. And we're ready to go. Okay, so we've moved inside for the final part of the video because it's got a bit bright out there and it's hard for the camera to pick up the flame. So what we're going to do is just add some of the mixture to our ball, which is here. Now, we don't need this uh, to be completely dripping wet, just uh, enough so it's kind of soaked through, I suppose. Uh, I'm just going to put a few more drops on, so I've already put some on there, uh, like so, and it should be ready to go. And all we need to do is light it. You can see we've got a nice orange flame because of the sodium ions in the salt, giving us that, that characteristic orange. And then we just pick it up, and hey presto, burning ball.